Welcome to my YouTube channel and this is Mom. For today's video, I'm going to share with you 3 things I've learned from Jonah in the Bible. I'm excited to share this Bible study with you, so let's go! In this book, there are 4 chapters. First, let us study chapter 1. Disclaimer lang po, I'm not a pastor or a priest, but there is freedom in reading the Bible, so I think. Thanks to my leader who teach me how to read the Bible in the right manner. I heard about the story, but I only knew of them that Jonah slept in the belly of the big fish three days and three nights. Pero nga yung song, like, three days, three nights. Hindi ko masyadong kalisado. If you know it, comment down below. First, let us know who is Jonah. Jonah was the son of Abitai, earliest prophet from that keeper in Zebulun. This Zebulun is in the land of Israel. You know the 12 tribes? Which was located in Syria in the modern day northern Iraq. The Lord so concerned in the land of Nineveh. God called Jonah to go and warn them of their excessive wicked. Jonah escaped and disobeyed. Instead, he went to Joba, found a ship that was going to Tarsish, paid the fare, and boarded to go with them away from the presence of the Lord. Jonah thought that he can escape from the presence of the Lord. In verse 4, however, the Lord held a great wind on the sea so that the ship was about to break up. Yun talaga ang wind ni Lord. Intense the Lord talagang he will break up the ship. Then the sailors became afraid, and every man cried out to his God. They hurled the cargo, which was the ship, into the sea to lighten the cargo. But they found Jonah below to the stern of the ship, had laid down and fallen asleep. So the captain approached him and said, How is it that you are sleeping? Get up! Call your God, perhaps your God will be concerned about us, so that he will not perish. Imagine the scenario. Point number one, his obedience resulting in great disturbance. In other words, Jonah became an in that time, not even disturbed. How is that? Jonah was able to sleep, but the ship was going to break. Nagkagulo ng lahat. Pero si Jonah, parang walang alam sa nangyari. Diba? Ay patutulog na. Pag merong nakuklam ang inyan, disturb na. Merong cellphone ang tumatawa. Kahit tunog ng rumero, pagkikisip na talaga. But what happened to Jonah? Kinisip pa siya sa kapi. And each man said to his mate, Come, let us cast lots. Do you know, in the old times, they cast lots to determine God's will. And the lots left. Then they asked Jonah, what is your occupation? Where do you come from? From what people are you? So he said to them, I am a Hebrew, and I fear the Lord God of heaven, who made the sea and the dry land. Jonah shared to them what has happened, and the men became extremely afraid, and they said to him, How could we do this? For the men knew that he was fleeing from the presence of the Lord. The people on the ship were not yet of God, but they feared God. For the sea was becoming stormy. What we should do to you so that the sea will come for us? And he said to them, Pick me up and hurl me into the sea. Then they cried out because the sea was becoming stormier against them. We earnestly prayed, O oh Lord. However, the men rode desperately to return to land, but they could not. Point number two, the moment that you surrender and pray, the Lord will take over. Like the people in the ship, they not hide, but they couldn't return to dry land. Considering they are experts in professional coping, limited powers, and no power to go in the map, So they decided to pick up Jonah and drag him to the sea, and the sea stopped its raging. Do not insist your will. Be it up and allow. Do be depressed. Let God and surrender. When you obey, He will swim. And they made a mouse to the Lord. Then the man became extremely afraid of the Lord. Now, even when you speak from the presence of the Lord, like what happened to Jonah, 
the good Lord is still able to accomplish his mission through you to spread the gospel. The people in the ship build a personal relationship. They receive salvation, blessings in this life. On the part of Jonah, there's a huge responsibility. So pray right away so that you will not be thrown in the sea and swallowed by a great fish. Point number three. Opportunity comes if you are willing. Jonah was willing to be thrown in the sea so the big fish comes. The Lord provided opportunity. He rests on time. And the Lord appointed a great fish to swallow Jonah. Jonah was in the stomach of the fish three days and three nights. Remember, delayed obedience resulted in great disturbance. The moment that you surrender and pray, the Lord will take over. Opportunity comes if you are willing.